One of my favorite things about Canva is that you can improve a photo with a shadow or outline. Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Let's get started. The Shadow app is one that is created by Canva. You can choose several different shadows for your picture and customize that shadow to your preference with a control panel. We're on the Canva apps website. I'll leave a link to that website in the description below. We're going to click on shadows. This is what pops up. You can scroll through and see what shadow looks like. And let's use in a design. When you click that, what do we want to create? Let's create a YouTube thumbnail. And let's see what happens. It automatically pops up an image and it gives you clues as to what you can do. The image is selected, edit image is highlighted, and the word shadows with the options are there for you. So if I click glow, there's a glow around this image. If I click drop, there's a drop shadow, there's an angle shadow, there's a curve, there's a page lift, and a back drop. When you click on something, such as this one, backdrop, a control panel appears. You can click that. So we could change the vertical angle here. We could change the horizontal angle. You can even change a transparency. You can change the blur of it, and you could change the color. There it is just in black. Now, what you would do is click apply up here, saving paused, and it will save the shadow that you've created with that. What you would want to do with a YouTube thumbnail, here's the YouTube thumbnail size. Let's... <laughs> Let's get ourselves a YouTube face because let's be honest, there is a YouTube face. What about this one? Time saving tips, right? Click. You see how it says saving paused? It still thinks I'm working on something. There we go. Edit image. It might be here and recently used, but you can type in shadow. And then for this particular one, we're just going to go with the glow, but you can try a bunch of different things because the glow one is going to give you that plain white outline that a lot of people like to use. You might change it to white and see it like this and not like that. What you want to do is change a transparency all the way to a hundred and the blur to zero and that will give you the sticker effect and you can make it a little larger. I wouldn't make it too large. Just give it a little bit of an outline and it looks fantastic. You can even change the color if you want to something else, but we're going to click apply and then wait. And I'm about to give you a huge tip when you're doing these thumbnails. I don't know what's happening here. A Canva is a web-based system, so sometimes it gets a little flaky, but it is still thinking here, saving paused. My piece of advice for you is to make your image really big, but also hide that bottom line here by just taking it to the edge of your thumbnail, and then you can make her bigger. If you want to learn the best background removal website to use with Canva, you're definitely going to want to watch this tutorial. It will be listed in the description and for some of you, it will be on your screen right now. I have a voice blooper and you can scroll through. You <clears throat> That happens all the time. If you like today's tutorial and want to see more like it, then make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.